Shelby Fendi was a very remarkable young man. And of course, he just worshipped Abdul Baha. And when Abdul Baha passed away, uh, the whole world became dark for him. All light had gone out. And when he returned to the Holy Land, uh, he had in mind, from the things which Abdul Baha had said to him, and I am now telling you what he said, said, I had in mind that Abdul Baha would give me the honor of calling the great conclave, calling together the great conclave, which would elect the Universal House of Justice. And I thought in his will and testament that that was probably what he was instructing be done. But he said, instead of that, I found that I was appointed the guardian of the cause of God. He said, I didn't want to be the guardian of the cause. First place, I didn't think I was worthy. Next place, I didn't want to face these responsibilities. He said, I didn't want to be the guardian. I knew what it meant. I knew that my life as a human being was over. He said, I didn't want it, and I didn't want to face it. So he says, you will remember I left. Remember, I left the Holy Land. And I went up in the mountains of Switzerland. And I fought with myself until I conquered myself. Then I came back and I turned myself over to God and I was the guardian. He said, every Baha'i in the world, every person in the world has to do exactly that same thing. Whether you're a hand of the cause, whether you're a knight of Baha'u'llah, whether you're a member of a national assembly, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a pioneer, whether you're an administrator, regardless of what you are, whatever you're doing in the cause, every Baha'i must fight with himself and conquer himself. And when he has conquered himself, then he becomes a true instrument for the service of the cause of God.